Hi everyone, I am Anna and you are watching the World Crypto Network. I am here with Stanislav from the Bitcoin exchange Yakuna. Hi Stanislav. Hello, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. Uh, you've also yesterday gave a talk here at the Inside Bitcoins conference uh, in Berlin. And uh, I'm going to start off the interview with the question, which was also the title of your task, which is uh, who needs Bitcoin exchanges? So who does? Uh, my answer would be nobody. And even uh, as I work for a Bitcoin exchange, I think that the Bitcoin exchanges will be a thing from the past, maybe even this year already. And uh, the problem is that uh, Bitcoin exchanges uh, suffer a lot from high costs, especially if they're working with fiat currencies. They have a lot of uh, issues uh, with uh, regulations, with fraud. On the other hand, the volume of exchanges is stagnating. There is no really big growth in there and the problem is the market is too small and if you go outside the market people do not understand exchanges so they're not really trading or they are looking for different trading experience like uh, forex traders for example and uh, Bitcoin exchanges have difficulties uh, deliver that. So what do you suggest instead? I think that uh, a lot of Bitcoin exchanges will either close or pivot out of the situation. And uh, from my point of view, we should not uh, try to fix the situation. We should uh, look ahead and uh, help uh, P2P exchanges to really evolve. And uh, I think that the technology is there. We have a lot of different setups of P2P exchanges. We have user-to-user uh, -user exchanges like uh, CoinFin, for example, where people trade decentralized and uh, Bitcoins are secured in a decentralized network and uh, people do transfer with each other. We have also concepts like Ripple, Stella with uh, gateways or also assets issued on Next or Counterparty, for example, and the list is really long. There are a lot of different possibilities and there are a lot more things to come. We can also, if you look just in uh, crypto assets or cryptocurrencies can also do cross-chain transactions and everything is peer-to-peer. -peer. We have uh, no or really low transaction costs and um, because of that the trading will be a lot smoother, a lot cheaper and the exchanges will step back and they just provide the gateway functionality so they will not uh, take uh, or hold real assets for the customer and uh, give them the possibility to trade but just uh, create a token that the user can trade in a decentralized way. Okay. So, um, yeah, you are pros that uh, change into that direction as far as I understand. So then what happens to Yakuna? Are you gonna, is it going to go out of business or are you try to, um, might you try to transform it to um, adapt to another kind of service? Yeah, I think uh, the cryptocurrency world is really dynamic and everybody has to reinvent reinvent themselves all the time, maybe even month, every month. And I think Yakuna is also a lot of uh, interesting things that we're working on that will help us reinvent ourselves. And of course, we are operating as an exchange. We provide the trading between five cryptocurrencies and the Euro and British Pound. And it will also stay like this for the coming months, maybe years. But at the end, we understand technology moves so fast forward and the exchanges or the companies that really catch up and understand um, the movement will be the first that will profit from it. And uh, so why is it not uh, already state of the art? Is there something that's missing still? I don't know, either from the technological side or um, developing side that uh, would make this kind of system possible? Mm. Uh, the biggest problem is, I think, the user experience. And it's also one of the things uh, that we are working on. Technology is there. Bitcoin has proven themselves for six years already. And all the other concepts are also good working systems, well 
design systems on a technological level, but the user experience is really bad. The user interfaces are sometimes non-existent. So you have still to type in your console things to really make things happen. And at the end, like 99% of the people will not use something like that. And the guys who are moving technology forward sometimes not even understand that people feel a different way, that people want to really graphic inter user interface. And if the next step will be here, maybe even this year, it will be a really easy choice to switch from centralized to decentralized exchanges. Okay, um, for the end, please, uh, if for those who want to yeah, either catch up, uh, get in touch, or just follow up on uh, the status or the progress of uh, what's going on with Yakuna, please let us know where we can find you in the internet or in the social media. Uh, you, can, you can find me at uh, Stanislav at yakuna.com, but you're also present all over social networks as Yakuna, or you can also watch, visit our site yakuna.com and uh, check out our exchange. <laughs> Super, thank you very much for talking to us. And um, yeah, have a nice uh, rest and, uh, re and pleasant rest of the second day. This is what I wanted to say. And um, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.